Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be rooting the Samsung Captivate, and I'm going to be using the super one-click method. Now, this method works for many different devices, but I'm going to be just using it for the Samsung Captivate, and that's why you're here, right? So, uh, first things first, what we got to do is download a few things and install a few things. So I'm going to go ahead and first download the uh, super one-click program from the XDA developers website. So I'll just scroll all the way to the bottom and I'll click on that. It's going to start downloading. Next thing I need is the .NET framework. So uh, I'll click on that. And that's going to go ahead and download. Then the last thing I need is the Samsung drivers so that uh, Windows, my operating system, can recognize the phone. And I happen to be running on the uh, Windows X 64-bit um, Windows 7, so I'll need to download the drivers for that. So I'll click on that and wait for that to download. Okay, so now that I've downloaded everything, I'm going to go ahead and start installing. Now the .NET framework usually already comes with Windows 7, so I'm not going to install that, but you can just click on it and uh, go through the installation process, it's fairly easy. And then uh, the next thing I'm going to do is install the USB drivers for uh, my Windows, and I'm going to go ahead and unpack that, and I'm just going to go ahead and double click on the setup, click on next, next again, and install. Okay, so now that everything's been installed, the USB drivers has been installed, the .NET framework has been installed, give the computer a good restart so that we can have a fresh clean start before we do some rooting. So now that you've restarted your computer, we're going to go ahead and unpack the Super One Click program. Now, this program is in the zip file, so we're going to need to unpack that. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click, and if you have a 7-zip program, just go ahead and uh, use that to extract the files and it's going to put all the files you need into a nice neat folder right here so we're going to double click on that so before we run that we got to plug in the phone but before we plug in the phone we got to set it to USB debugging so what you'll do is you'll go to your settings and then you'll go to applications then click on development and check the USB debugging right there All right. so USB debugging is selected and it's ready so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna plug in the phone All right so that you plug in the phone you'll see the computer installing you can click on it for the status and now the uh, the Windows 7 is recognizing the phone Alright, so uh, we have a successful installation of the phone. Now I'm going to click on the Super One Click, and what I'll do is I'll right click on that, and I got to run as administrator. Alright, so here we are. Now I'm just going to click on Root, and hopefully everything goes well. Alright, so the phone has been rooted. Would you like to donate now? Hey, you know what? Uh, these guys are making it very easy for you to unroot your phone. So go ahead and uh, click on donate. Um, but other than that, we're going to look at the applications folder. And you're going to look for a little program called Super User. And if you have that, you've successfully rooted your phone. Thanks for watching, John and Geek out. Peace.